Hello everyone, my name is Impractico. Welcome back to Sonic Speed Simulator. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the hoverboard in Auto Run. Now I would like to give you guys a few uh, details before we get into the video. One of these is that I did cover this during my Mastery Six Master, a six star character skin video. It's in my channel. I will put it in the description down below so you guys can check out that video after this. Also, this will be more of a quickie guide. I will like to pretense this that a lot of the methods I'm going to be showing you here in this video is dependent on your device and also the connection. A lot of those can affect the time frame when it comes to you getting certain actions or inputs going through. So you will need to play around with it a little depending on your device because again, the way I explain is how it works for my device, but it could be different for yours because we will have console. PC and also mobile players, but I will be trying to go over all of those together. Now, without further ado, let's get in the video. So, why hoverboard in Auto Run? Well, I'm going to be showing you on screen why. So, as you can see, I'm going to go and hoverboard in the normal intended way, and it's simple just to have your character running around. The reason why folks use Auto Run for their character skins is so you can level them up. When you have a full team of star six fast friends they give you additional step xp which allows you to speed up the process of leveling up a character okay pretty good now what makes this interesting is the amount of speed you gain on this as you can see on the speed counter it is on the left with the foot shouldn't be hard to miss you can see about on average i will end up around 127 to about 130 now I should be coming in with the hoverboard. As you look again, just look at the speed counter. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it clearly. I'm averaging around 270 to 285 on the speed counter, nearly doubled or more than doubled of what I was getting on foot. Now that again, this is very important to know of why hoverboard is the preferred method in auto run. Okay, let's just compare the two methods. No hoverboard versus hoverboard. For free to play players with three star six fat friends equipped, on average, it'll take you about 12.5 days to max one skin. Now, if you compare that to your three star six fast friends equipped with the hoverboard method, you're on average of 6.5 days to max one skin, cutting your time down by half. The same applies to pay to win players because they have five pet slots. If they did this, it would be 9.5 days for no hoverboard. And for the hoverboard method, we'll substantially cut it down to about on average 4.5 days to max one skin. Now, if you were to compare free to play to pay to win, both using the hoverboard method, of course, with the max amount of fast friends they're able to equip, both at star six, you can see there is a big difference in time between the two, but they both have the ability to get this done within a week meaning no matter the account if you were able to unlock a brand new skin on saturday by the time the next week rolls around with a new event you should already have that skin maxed if you're running out of run with the hoverboard method continuously throughout the week all right so now that we got the comparison out of the way between why you should do hoverboard versus now and then free to play versus pay to win let's get into actually doing the method itself now you're going to notice something is odd with my screen i'm pretty sure some of you noticed it right away but i'll explain it in a moment now in auto run you're expected to run not use the hoverboard method this is a type of an exploit or a glitch of you exploding as you can see i have plus five event but no fast friends right here equipped onto me in fact i do have it this is more of a visual bug just equipping and re-equipping the hoverboard will get them to appear Again, this is what happens when you get out of auto run doing the hoverboard method. It looks like they're not equipped, but they are. It's just a visual bug. Now moving on to the method itself. As you can see, I'll go here and then I'll click yes to start the process of me going into auto run. But I will be spamming the C key. As you can see, it did not work at all. The reason why is timing is very important. That's why I say earlier in the video, depending on your device and connection, the time frame may vary to execute this. Now rapidly tapping C again for hoverboard, and it's now working. I'm able to perform it. Now this is how I do it. Once the screen goes black, I just try to rapidly tap C, which is the hoverboard key on my keyboard. Now, if you end up on the hoverboard and then dismount during auto run, that means that you did it too soon. If you did it and it didn't work at all, that means you did it too late. But during that black screen for that transition, if you hit the sweet spot, you should be able to perform it with no problem. 
Okay, now that I'm done explaining how to do it for my PC players, let's get into my console players. Now, you will need yourself a controller, obviously. On screen, you're going to see a diagram or a picture of an Xbox controller. Don't worry, this still works for PS5, PlayStation, and Xbox. It doesn't matter which console. The layout is just to give you a representation of what key to press. Now, what I'll need you to do is hit the left D-pad. The left D-pad pulls out your hoverboard. Now, this one is the same thing as you pushing the C key on the keyboard. Once you hit yes to move into the auto run, I gotta hit that. <laughs> All you have to do is spam the left D-pad on that black transition screen, and you should be able to equip the hoverboard right away. Now, I have a lot easier time pulling this on console versus PC. I'm not sure why, but again, I notice the times vary a lot differently depending on the device. This is me showing that yes, I am playing with a controller because I have a little mouse cursor when I hit the select or capture button depending on your controller just to move this little mouse cursor around. All right, now it's time for my mobile player. So on the left side of the screen, you're gonna see a giant hoverboard icon. Don't worry, that's a PNG. It's not an actual icon in game, but it should give you an image of what you should be clicking. So of course you can see I'm obviously on mobile. Look at the weird little graphical bugs on it. Anywho, so let's just get into this. All you have to do is simply just walk up to the auto run, tap yes onto it, and then spam the hoverboard key. Now, this one is actually the easiest by far for me, as I'm gonna be honest, it is, because the hoverboard is right there, just keep spamming in that area, and you should immediately be on it. Now, I've been always able to perform this without any fail at all. I noticed that there's like a level of difficulty with mobile being the easiest and PC being the most finicky with the time frame of when you should be able to spam that key, but you should be able to pull this off pretty quickly. Okay, so let's just get into the bigger issue of this method. Yes, it's very effective. Yes, you can use Dark Rider with it, but if you use the Dark Rider bike, you're gonna see, well, what's gonna happen. Yeah, this is what's guaranteed to happen if you use the motorcycle with Auto Run. It's not really meant for it. Exactly, Auto Run is not even meant for the boards either because even the boards can get in this predicament i'll show you so yeah on screen as you can see it is ridiculous this is what can happen when it's running over long periods of time now it's simple all you have to do is just restart it just x out and then go back in and do it all over again but this does tend to happen randomly it's because hoverboard is not made for auto run they that your character is running on a track and it's meant to be you on your legs not you on a board so sometimes this can happen it gets pretty crazy just seeing me mid there and float in air or just get off the path and stuck somewhere else entirely but even with all the issues this is still the best method for getting step xp and leveling up each of your skins and there you have it an entire guide on how to do the hoverboard method in auto run plus with an explanation of why you should be doing it. Now, I hope this helps a lot of you out, especially those who've been asking me a lot in the comments. I know I promised to make a video on this. I am pretty behind on some of the videos I have made, but as you guys noticed this week, I've been churning out videos back to back, and I do plan to continue to keep up that pace because these are all videos that have been either edited or started part way and just needed a little bit of time to finish off. Now, I will say this though, I am still gonna upload my Sonic Adventure 2 gameplay video. That's my Let's Play series, just to add more to the channel so that you guys have more content to watch. And I will be expanding that later on with other games. So do keep an eye out for that one. But like always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If this video has helped you out, please let me know in the comments down below or tell me your thoughts by simply talking in the comments. I love engaging with all of you. And if I happen to make any mistakes, please do correct them in the comment section. I will be harding mistakes. I'm okay. I'm not perfect, but I do tend to record, edit, and upload these videos the very same day. So that's just the way I work. Unfortunately, I'm not really good at planning. I'm just, hey, let's wing it. So I hope this helps you guys out a lot. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And of course, I'll see you for tomorrow's update in Sonic Speed Simulator. Until then, bye bye